What is going on everyone? Danger TV here and I'm back from a video and today I just wanted to tell you guys and look at with you guys if the GoPro Hero 4 could actually be a good vlogging camera. Let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm now filming on the GoPro and we're heading to school. So this is just a quick quality test to see how good the GoPro is. But um, yeah guys, we'll get into more of the talking about the GoPro quality when I get back home. But as of now, heading to school. So I'll see you guys when I'm done at school and we'll talk more about it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Is the GoPro a good vlogging camera? So I just realized I kind of screwed up on something a little bit. Using the color flat, now I'm using GoPro color. Just to let you guys know, flat is like if you want to color grade, and I wasn't going to color grade for this video, so I messed up there too. But I'm fixing that now. So now, this time when you guys see the GoPro footage, it will be the footage that you would just see playing out of the camera. Alright guys, so one thing I got to say that I like about the GoPro is, so the Canon camera over here, is quite a far away away and I want to say six feet or so and look at the field of view so right now I'm on wide field of view for the GoPro because I either vlog on medium or wide it really depends but look if I'm holding the GoPro out at arm's length this is wide field of view and this looks probably just as wide if not wider than the field of view you're seeing right now so this is almost parallel to the lens right here if I'm eyeing it up right and it probably looks about the same and yes I would normally vlog on medium just so it looks a little closer but wide is also really good for some shots that you might need really for a GoPro I would say it is a really good vlogging camera versatility is ridiculous because it's such a small little camera that can do so many things has such a wide field of view it just does so many things for you that a normal camera wouldn't do without spending so much more money. Now I got this for 500 bucks. That includes this LCD. Now, I will admit I overpaid for it. I shouldn't have paid that much. Because uh, now the Hero 5's out and it's for 399 So that, I admit, does make me kind of mad. And yes, I want to get the Hero 5 as soon as I can. And I will do a review on that for, the, for a vlog. And if it's as good as I think it is, I might use it for a main camera. Obviously, a DSLR is going to be much better quality like I have right now, the Canon Rebel T6i. Obviously, that quality is going to be much better because it's a DSLR. It's going to win in quality over any action camera you've ever seen. Now, it's just going to happen like that. But vlogging isn't always about quality. It's about story. Everything in your vlog serves the story. If you don't have a story, you don't have a vlog. Now, this is something I had a problem with back like a year ago because I thought the vlog was just about quality so I got the DSLR now I had this go I had the GoPro before I had the DSLR and at first when I got the GoPro I thought it was fine so you know for a while I used it and I noticed the quality wasn't the best and I could do much better if I had a DSLR such as Casey Neistat for an example so I was like okay I'm gonna go get a DSLR so I saved up got a DSLR and then I realized my vlogs are still the same they just have better quality Buying yourself a DSLR is not going to get you subscribers if you're thinking that way. It's not going to make you a better vlogger. It might in fact make you a worse vlogger because you can't take your DSLR in places that you can take your GoPro. Now that's a big factor in a camera. Have a camera that you will take everywhere because that is an important thing. Like me, Casey Neistat, he'll take a freaking Canon 70D, 80D, whatever. He'll take that into a supermarket. He could care less. Like honestly, he could just, he could care less. And if people try to tell him not to, he'll be like, uh, yeah, I'm going to take it. And so, the way I am is I'm kind of that inconspicuous guy. So I would use the phone or this. So it just really depends on the kind of person you are. But yes, I would say the GoPro is a good vlogging camera. But now, guys, let's get into some test footage. I'm going to go out and longboard for a little bit and just kind of chill. I'm not going to try to go too fast or anything, but... You know, just mess around, and you guys are with the see, so let's go. Alright guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm using this tripod grip thing here, because I really, really don't want to drop my GoPro on accident, which I doubt I would, but you never know. Alright guys, we're about to go longboarding. I'm using 1080p Super View, but with 60 FPS, so it should look like buttery smooth right now. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the 60 FPS. Let me know what you guys think. And let's get to the longboarding. <laughs> Alright guys, now I have to push because I'm going uphill. So yay, aka the sucky part of longboarding. I wanted to skate more for you guys, but I just got too tired. Like honestly, I'm just that kind of person. I'm like, I'm just lazy. Even though I do work out, which is the thing, I work out once a week at least, usually more, like three times a week. But yet somehow, I'm still in bad shape doing like cardio exercises. I think I'm getting better with weights and stuff, but like cardio, which is weird because in PE, I'm one of the best runners. I can't run that long, but I'm one of the faster runners. So I don't really know. Like I just need to work on skating, I guess, but it is fun though. I am still kind of new to skating. So like new isn't actually taking it more where I really wanted to do it. Back as a little kid, I obviously, you know, just kind of messed around with it. But other than that, not really. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna continue with my day which is basically sitting down watching YouTube. And then my grandma's gonna bring home some Mexican. So that sounded so weird. By bringing home some Mexican, I meant bringing home Mexican food, just, just so you know, just to clear things up a little bit. Cause that could have sounded kind of weird, bringing home some Mexican. But I'm not bringing home any Mexican people, okay? And no offense to any Mexican people that could be watching this video. Thanks. So guys, tell me what you thought of the GoPro quality because I want to know what you guys think. Uh, quality I think is okay. Like it's definitely not bad, but it's not great. Like this Canon, if I went out there and skated with it, you know, obviously I'd probably fall, but it would look much better. I'll be doing a phone vlogging review sometime, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But not really going to do any more reviewing of the GoPro. You guys can tell the footage from itself. The sensor is much smaller than the Canon's. That's why some of the lighting looked weird or grain, and the GoPro doesn't run at a high bit rate like this does. There's a bunch of technical reasons into that, but I don't really want to get into those. I'm just going to go at it from a consumer's perspective right now, because I know a lot of technical stuff from it, but I'm just going to go from a consumer experience. More grainy, less quality, are a couple cons. A pro would be, <laughs> see what I did there? Pro, GoPro, oh, I'm so funny. I really am. Laugh at me, please. I deserved that. Anyway, this has such a wide field of view, as you guys could tell earlier. It's so great to have a wide field of view. Why, why, am, I, why am I doing this? It has such a wide field of view. It's pretty awesome. Now, see, right now, the Canon doesn't have that wide of a field of view. And I use this thing right here to help that. This is a macro part of the adapter. This is the wide part. And you put them together to make a wide angle and... What? Well, I did that backwards. Put them together to make a wide angle and you leave them separate to make a macro. So that is sometimes when you see a wider field of view on the Canon than other times. That's usually why. Because it makes it a 12 millimeter instead of an 18. So that's pretty cool. But still doesn't compare to the GoPro's wide field of view. The Canon's going to have better lighting quality, stuff like that. But, like I said, if you're going for a simple camera that you can take many places, then yes, go for the GoPro because you'll get a better experience and you'll be able to take it more places. This is going towards like a vlogger who wants to take it, you know, into a store, into places like that. And you guys will see GoPro footage throughout this channel for sure because I will use this and I do use this. And like I said, I want to upgrade to the Hero 5. And when I can do that, it should be even better quality. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the review part of the video. Um, that pretty much concludes that part of the review, so if you guys are only here for the review, it's over. 
Now we're gonna get into the vlog, but hopefully you guys still do enjoy. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm about ready to eat me some tacos. And then I gotta go get my grandpa because he's out hunting. And I basically gotta drive a tractor over there. I don't know, it's weird. Oh well. But it'll be, might be a good low light test for the GoPro though. All right, guys, this is gonna serve as a really good low light test. I'm not sure how good you guys are gonna be able to see, honestly. I'm about to start up this tractor though. So. Thus concludes something that you probably didn't see much of.